What is up Android fans? It is Eric for mobile and today guys I want to go over how to root your LG G3 and install a custom recovery to get you ready to flash ROMs, create backups, and do all the awesome stuff that you can do with these phones once rooted and you have recovery. So I'm going to walk you through it and guys this is by far the easiest method I have ever used to root a phone and install recovery. Um, you don't need a computer. Um, you can do everything right off the phone with a couple of apps and a couple of files. It's crazy simple. So let's jump right into it, guys. So first of all, what we're going to do with the G3 is we're going to get root on it. So enabled in order to do the root process, you're going to want to jump into your browser. And we're going to go to the website uh, for XDA developers. This is um, where you're going to find all of the stuff you need for ROMing, flashing, rooting, all that good stuff. So once you're in the website, XDA developers, there's this little search icon up here. Go ahead and tap that guy. And it's going to say search XDA. In there, you're going to want to write the word stump. And it's going to come up and say stump root. Go ahead and click on that. This is an app that we're going to use to root the phone. And um, it's crazy simple. It's a one, it's a one-click solution. It's really slick. So it's going to be this first thread on the very top right here, stump root for LG devices. Go ahead and click on that one right there. And so here we are on the thread. You're going to scroll down until you get to where it says download. Hopefully you can see that right there. Download version 1.2.0. Go ahead and click on that. It's going to redirect you to this page and it's going to take a second and ask you, do you want to install this APK? You're going to hit OK and it's going to download it. it. Just takes a second. It's not a very big file. You're basically installing an app, the app that gives you the root access. Once it's done, just click on it. It's going to come up and ask you for your permissions, all that normal stuff. And then um, it's, going to, it's going to say that Google recommends you do not install this because this does change your phone. It gives you root access. Um, technically doing this voids your warranty. So if you're ready to jump in and do the rooting, go ahead and click the, uh, you know, you understand what you're doing and install anyways. It only takes a second and click done. So guys, we are now ready to root our phones. Like I said, no computer required. Jump into your app drawer. You're going to scroll over and now you have the app right there, Stump Root. Go ahead and click on that bad boy. And I almost forgot to mention, um, when you first open up this app, actually I think it plays the whole time, there's some really loud music. So if you have your sound turned up, and you open this up, this music's going to be blaring. I have it turned down, but anyway, that's kind of funny. Turn your volume down if you don't want to be blasted out. Now, guys, my phone's already rooted, so as you can see right there, it says device is rooted. If you have um, a non-rooted device, which is why I'm sure you're here, it's going to say something like root or whatever right here where it says grind. Now, um, it'll either just in instantly root in a couple of seconds and ask you to reboot, or um, it's going to say something about how the device isn't supported or something like that, and there's an option to do brute force. Now, when I did my phone, I did this about, uh, I think, a month ago, and it said that my device wasn't supported, it didn't have enough information, and that it would have to do the brute force process, which basically just means it's going to take a little bit longer to root. Instead of a few seconds, it takes a couple minutes, two or three minutes. So if it says root and it happens instantly, then you just know that enough people have done it through this app that it has the information it needs to root it uh, fast. If not, it's going to tell you to do the brute force and it's just going to take a few minutes. Don't freak out or think it's frozen. Just give it a time, maybe set it down, let it do its thing. And then eventually it'll prompt you to say you're rooted, reboot the device. So go ahead and do that part. And then once you got your device rebooted, you can come just back up into your phone. Uh, when it turns back on, you're going to want to go into the Play Store and you're going to want to install an app called Super User. Now this basically, or Super SU is actually the one that I, that I choose, it's that second one right there that says it's installed. You're going to want to download this app. I already have it installed because I'm already rooted. And basically this app just handles um, the processes that are trying to get root access on your phone. So when you've downloaded it, go ahead and open it up. It's going to look like this. Um, when you open it up, it's going to have you um, update what it calls binaries. 
go ahead and update them. It's gonna come up with a warning that says, are you sure this is what you wanna do? Um, do you know what you're doing? Just click yes, update the binaries, and then it's going to reboot your phone again. Everything's handled through reboots. And then guys, once it's rebooted, you are rooted. So it's easy as that. You download the Stump app, you do the, you do the root process, or if you have to, the brute force process, which just takes a little bit longer. You reboot, install super user, It'll probably ask you to reboot again, and then you are rooted. So it's easy as that, guys. Once you're rooted, the next step is to install a custom recovery. And the reason we do this is so that you can um, flash ROMs, create backups, uh, basically install custom software, and make backups on your phone. Um, this is absolutely required if you want to run custom ROMs. So in order to uh, install a recovery, we're going to go back into our browser and we can just back out here to the main page again. And we're, again, we're going to search. And in here, you're going to write bump instead of stump, like baby bump. Type that in. And it's going to, again, be this first one on the very top. If I can zoom in on it, it's all the way zoomed in. It just says bump. Unlock your LG G3 with Team Win Recovery Project, which is the name of the custom recovery. Go ahead and click on that top one. And once you're into this thread, again, you're just gonna scroll down. It has all these instructions on how to do it, but that's why you're watching this video. I'm just gonna show you how to do it step by step. You're gonna scroll down until you get to this section that has, um, it says download on it right there. That's where you're going to download your recovery. Now the important part with this part, guys, once you've clicked into this, is you need to download the recovery that coincides with your version of your phone. So where I have the Verizon version, it's gonna be this bottom one that says VS985. If you don't know what your code name is for your phone, you need to go and look it up if you're running the Sprint version or the AT&T version, whatever. You need to know what your code is because that's gonna affect which one of these files you download. In my case, it's this bottom one that says VS985. So you're just gonna click on it. After a second, it's gonna download you see right there, it says complete. Now this isn't an app that we're installing. This is just the file that we're going to use to install the recovery. So you can just swipe that away for now. Come back out to your phone and we're gonna to need to install a couple apps from the Play Store in order to finish this process. So the first one that we're gonna need is called ES File Explorer. Let me type it in here, ES. And it's gonna come up, it's a free app. You can get it right here, ES File Explorer. I've already got it installed. And then the next app you're gonna need is called Flashify for root users. So you're gonna install Flashify, and luckily we just rooted, so now you have access to these kind of apps. So what you need to do is open up that file explorer that I just had you download, ES File Explorer. And when you open it up, it's gonna have you come to this screen. This is just all the files on your phone. You need to come into this one that says download. Click on that, and there's that recovery that we installed that has the specific model number. What you need to do is long press on that and hit copy down here in the corner. You're gonna copy this file, and then you're gonna hit your back key, and you're gonna paste it onto the root of your device's memory. So now you see it showed up down there on my memory. When it's in the download folder, it could be downloaded onto your SD card or whatever, but you want it right on your phone's memory. That's why you copy it into that section. Once that's done, you can just get out of that. Now we're going to open up that Flashify app that I had you download. It's gonna come up with a disclaimer, blah, 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 you know. Go ahead and just hit accept on that. It's checking for root. And this is where that app that you downloaded before, the Super SU, this is where you can grant root permissions. So go ahead and tell, yes, this app can use my root permissions. Now, in here, this is where we're going to install that custom recovery. And it is a recovery image. So we're gonna click this middle one. You don't wanna do the boot image or the zip file. You wanna do the recovery image. You're gonna click on that, and you wanna click choose file. Um, it can try to do ones automatically, but for the LG G3, because there's a locked bootloader, you wanna do the one that we downloaded because it's been prepared for this. So choose a file. You wanna come into ES File Explorer, the app we downloaded, scroll down, and you're gonna select the file that we did. Now it's gonna come up and ask you which way you wanna execute this command. Just click the normal Android way, this top one. That'll work just fine. 
Now it's gonna come up and it's ready to flash. I've already done it, I already have recovery installed, so I'm not going to do it. But from this place, you're gonna just hit this button that says yup at the bottom, and it literally takes one or two seconds and boom, your recovery will be installed. And it's just gonna come up and say congratulations, recovery is installed. Now to know that this happened properly, you can come up here to this little settings menu, and it's gonna say reboot recovery. You're gonna go ahead and click on that, and then this is how you're gonna know if it worked properly. It's gonna come up with the LG splash screen, but then right after that, you should see the Team Win Recovery Project custom recovery. And this is what it looks like, guys. So if you got to here, congratulations, you've been rooted, you have a custom recovery installed. Now you're ready to create backups to flash custom ROMs. Um, that's probably the first thing that I would suggest doing once you have a recovery installed is come in here to backup and select all the boxes here and create a backup of your stock um, LG ROM. Because if you have any problems fa flashing files and you brick your phone for whatever reason, you can get back into recovery and you can come over here and click restore and restore your stock ROM and be able to recover your information without making your phone just a total paperweight. But anyway guys, once you've gotten to this point, if you wanna be sure that nothing happened wrong with your phone, which you should be fine, you can go ahead and hit reboot system and it's going to bring up your phone and reboot it and that's it guys that's as easy as it is like i said in the beginning you don't need a computer all you got to do is download those couple apps that i showed you and you are ready to start playing with your phone installing custom software um, it's a really awesome tool to have i hope this uh, video helped you guys out if you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. This is a new YouTube channel, so on here I'm going to be reviewing uh, ROMs for the LG G3. Um, there's not really a lot of them out right now, so that's why I wanted to make this video on how to root and get recovery. But anyway, guys, thanks for uh, watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one. So I almost forgot to mention, um, the I'm going to leave links in the description to the website that I used and the files that I downloaded. I'm not going to leave links for the apps in the Play Store because um, you can just get them right out of the Play Store by searching the name. But, you know, like XDA Developers site, I'll leave a link for that and a link for the download for the stump and the bump files. So um, look down there for those. I really appreciate you guys checking out my video and we'll see you on the next one.